now. And nearly 10,000 migrants who arrived at the southern U.S. border in Texas in just the last 48 hours. Look at this. They're living under a bridge this morning, and thousands more are expected to arrive in the coming days. One local sheriff worries federal and local authorities are reaching a breaking point, and a congressman from Del Rio, Texas, calls it a humanitarian crisis on steroids. CNN's Priscilla Alvarez is tracking the latest developments here. Priscilla, good morning. What exactly is the plan for this roughly 9,500 migrants who are living under that bridge? Are they getting food? Are they getting water? What's the plan here? U.S. Customs and Border Protection is providing water, towels, portable toilets to those under the bridge while they await processing, but they are also increasing manpower, and they're doing so with the Department of Homeland Security and with local agencies on the ground. But this is the ongoing challenge for the U.S. Customs and Border Protection. They are not equipped to handle this number of arriving migrants particularly in the Del Rio sector where you're seeing these images. That is a sector that is more remote and has limited capacity. So it's an urgent situation on the ground that also comes amid tensions within the Department of Homeland Security. Sources tell me that there's disagreement between different factions, moderates, progressives, over how to handle the situation at the U.S.-Mexico border, and that at times can leave little room for decisions and solutions. So sources tell me it's paralysis and exhaustion for a department that has been on crisis mode since day one. We learned this week that two senior DHS officials uh, announced their resignations. They provided different reasons for why they were departing the department, but uh, and it's, uh, it's unclear whether these tensions played a role but still a shakeup at a time when the department has a number of pressing issues on its plate.